exactly what you want to see. Let's run this puppy in. Score a touchdown and tie this game. Life, run for your life, touchdown on one play. Worked on this in practice. Touchdown. It's up to Kelvin Benjamin. This is all you, buddy. Kelvin Benjamin for a touchdown. Oh, he toasted his man. Holmes toasted his man. Spin move. Oh! Oh! What's going on guys? Welcome back to the video here on the Water Juice channel and welcome back to another episode of the Throwback Thursday series here on Madden 13 with the Green Bay Packers. Yes, that's right. And if you missed last Thursday's episode, we did the playoffs. It was the playoff episode playoff special and we made it to the divisional round against the San Francisco 49ers, and we came up against a buzzsaw. The San Francisco 49ers in this game are just way too good in year number one. They end up winning the Super Bowl, and we got booted after the second round. So not, not as productive of a first season as I would like, but now we're here in the offseason. We have about $8 million in cap space, and we got to re-sign some players. We re-signed a couple of guys at the beginning of the season in like episode number one and so we got to decide what we want to do with these guys we've got a lot of guys that are going to make a lot of money a lot of old guys we've got a lot of veteran guys on this team that i don't know if are worth signing i mean cedric benson obviously had a really good season so he's probably a guy that we do want to bring back but for how much money can we bring back and remember i haven't done this old school version of off season in a franchise probably since this game was popular back in 2012-2013 so i gotta go with the flow here i don't know what's gonna happen we have 8.3 million dollars in spending he's desiring a five-year 4.84 million dollar contract which is going to be doable i think the total value we could give him about 1.5 and we'll we'll bump the bonus up to make it even more desirable for him i bet he likes that so if we go straight five uh 1.5 on each that's a total value of 12 million dollars the way they have this set up is confusing me so is the total value 12 million dollars that would be more that's obviously more than the 8.3 that we have so does that mean that we wouldn't be able to pay for anybody else if we re-sign him or do we we won't even be able to afford this contract i don't think so if i lower it down to eight million dollars how's that let's offer that contract and see what happens because we can sell some guys off if we really need to i don't think there's anybody else here that i really need to re-sign i mean sam shields might be a good guy to re-sign since he's only 25 so maybe we do that we enter negotiations with him because that would be certainly something that we could do let's give him a little bit of a higher bonus just so he's he's a little happier two year two million dollar contract let's see what happens there he should accept that although if we if cedric benson resigns then we wouldn't have the money to bring him back anyway so i guess we could oh uh benson rejected the contract so that's interesting but sam shields does accept his contract so interesting so we got back sam shields he was only 25. benson's 30. 27 for win he probably doesn't want that much money we have 7.4 in available money and he's uh, he's asking for a three-year 1.18 which is doable certainly i can give you a 2.1 million dollar deal how do you like that how do you like that let's see what he says to that he rejected it okay so he must want uh, a signing bonus that's probably what he rejected it for that is probably what he rejected it for. All right, all right. I do want to bring back Troy Smith. <laughs> I know he's not very good, but I love Troy Smith. 
Let's offer him a contract and see what he says. Another one year deal. So I don't think we're gonna be able to bring back Chad Johnson. He rejected the con, come on, Troy. All right, let's go to stage number two. I don't even remember what even like goes on during this off season period. So we're certainly gonna have to, to take a take a little look-see. All right, we got free agent offers. We have an A prestige, 86 offense, 83 defense, and $7 million in cap space. So let's take a look at quarterbacks. We don't need a quarterback, but let's just take a look at here. We got Vince Young, we got Donovan McNabb, Tavares Jackson, Byron Leftwich, Dar uh, David Carr, Sexy Rexy. Quarterbacks are not really where we need to go. Running back we need to go. Rashad Mendenhall's got a lot of offers. Understandable, he's 26 years old. This is his first contract. His first big chance at a contract. Should we try and, and bid for, for Rashad Mendenhall? Get in the, the running? Because we do need a big time running back. We have 17 million in spending money. Well, that's useful. That is very, very useful. So let's try and gauge where we're going to be. If I offer Rashad Mendenhall 18 million over four years, what is he? Where does that put us in the value? Does it tell us? Oh, I might have to go to my negotiations. So we, oh, okay. So we're going to have to bump that money up. It looks like the Colts are offering a lot of money. So we're going to have to bump that. I'll bump it up to five because we, we need a running back. So we need to have. We certainly need to have a running back on the team. So what about that? My negotiation still puts us in the running, but I don't know. Let's go back to available, available wide receivers. We got Josh Cribbs, Chad Johnson, Williams, Hushman Zada. A lot of these guys are just older. There's not really anybody crazy good here. I mean, Ted Ginn would be interesting to have for speed. Johnny Knox would be interesting. Nobody's going after Johnny Knox. So we have about 11 million to spend. Let's offer Johnny Knox a four-year contract like that. Hopefully that grinds his gears the right way. Tight end, Shockey, Dallas Clark. Delaney Walker is interesting. He hasn't really taken off to be the Delaney Walker that we all know. Not yet, at least. We need another tight end, so I'll put that in there. We need to go defense, too. We need to look at defense, free safety, some decent free safeties. Patrick Chung made it to free agency. Corner, Brent Grimes is 87 overall. He has no offers. Could we go for a rental? Like a Brent, a Brent Grimes rental? I don't want to know. I don't want to pay him for six years or whatever that was, five years. But a rental for two years of Brent Grimes, that wouldn't be that bad. He's only 30. I don't know if he's going to sign that, but... Hampton, another rental? I mean, are, the whole thing is, are we going to go in... Are we going to go all in and try and win a, a championship right now? That's the whole... That's the whole question. So, oh, we don't have enough money to bring in Hampton. I kind of want to just see what happens here. Let's go to next week. I don't even know if I've done enough to, to bring those guys in or not. <laughs> I really hope that Mendenhall chooses us. That's really the one that I'd, I'd like to have. So, let's see. Did anybody negotiate? Did anybody sign with us? My signings? We don't have any signings. So, nobody's made their decision yet. Okay. I think we should be able to get these three guys because nobody's got an offer on them. But Mendenhall is going to be pretty tough. I don't know if Mendenhall is going to, going to want to come to us. He's got a lot of offers. Did anybody sign with us now? We keep going down in prestige. I don't know if that means anything or not. Uh Oh, so it looks like... Wait, did we sign Delaney Walker? We did. We signed Delaney Walker. And it looks like they've narrowed it down to two teams. Brent Grimes has narrowed it down to the Dolphins and the the Packers. Mendenhall's narrowed it down to us and the Packers, or us and the Bucks. And then Knox has got it down to the Bengals and us. Okay. I don't know if we're going to get any of these guys. 
this is interesting. This is a lot different than how they have it, how they have it now in, in Madden 22. The free agency now is kind of straightforward, but this, oh, we're not going to find out if we get anybody free agency recap. It doesn't look like we signed those guys because I have $12 million in cap space. So I wouldn't think that we sign anybody. We got Delaney Walker, which is good. So we helped out the offense a little bit, but maybe I didn't spend the money in the right spots or I went for the wrong people. I don't know. I mean, it is my first off season in this game for <laughs> since the game was popular back in 2013. So, and we have the NFL draft too. So let's view the recap. Where did everybody go? Hampton didn't get signed. My signings, we got men and all. So we got a big time running back and we got another tight end, but we didn't sign Brent Grimes or we didn't. Yeah, we didn't sign Brent Grimes. He went to the Dolphins. Akeem Talib chose the Colts and we didn't get Johnny Knox either. Johnny Knox probably chose the Bucks or whoever he was talking to. Oh, interesting. So we got Rashad Mendenhall. That's huge. Having a big time running back like that. And he's young. That's big time. So we have, what are our draft picks looking like? We have one first round pick. Yeah, the running back situation I like better now. I like better. And we have Rodgers still. So we have the 28th overall pick. Could I use that in a trade to get like a player that we could use? Like we need like a defensive guy. So could I try and trade for maybe... Hmm, I don't know. We need a center, a strong safety, and a left outside linebacker. Do the Bengals have a left outside linebacker that they'd be willing to give me? They have Manny Lawson, who's 29 years old. I don't know if that's the right fit for us. What about the Buffalo Bills? I really hate that I can't just go through the teams in this screen. I have to go back and forth. They have Kirk Morrison, Keon Wilson, and Nigel Bradham. Nigel Bradham is only 24, but I don't know how the... The only problem is with these old games, I don't know how the development works in these old games. So, I mean, Nigel Bradham could be a good pickup for us, but... Would it take too long to develop him? Would he ever develop? They have Von Miller. The Broncos have a young Von Miller. I don't think this is going to go through just one for one. But will they tell me if they need something? They're unwilling to trade Von Miller. That's understandable. I can, I can see why you're unwilling to trade him. He's very, very good. Hall of Fame talent. But, Cheeks... What about if I give you my second round pick as well? You can have my entire draft if you want. They're unwilling to trade Von Miller. Well, you need a D tackle, a punter, and a corner. Well, who's my punter? <laughs> is my punter good enough to get through? My punter is Tim Maste. Okay. What about my corner situation? Tremont Williams, Sam Shields, Jarrett Bush, Devon House, Casey Hayward. It's not really good enough to probably to probably push this through. And then they needed a center, but so do we. We need a center too. I don't even have a center on the roster. Okay. The trading system seems to be pretty difficult in these old games. Seems to be pretty Singles interesting Rams and difficult. Okay. So we got the draft. I don't even know who the best players in this draft are. I haven't really been doing any scouting. Where's the best left outside linebacker? Or linebacker in general? So it's this guy, Asher Smith. Okay. Did I even scout anybody? I don't think I scouted anybody. I scouted some top guys. I didn't really do much scouting this year. I didn't even think I was going to use the draft picks. But if it's hard to draft... We got this guy projected in the first round, Michael Patterson, but I don't really know anything about him. I'm not going to be able to get up to the first round, so we'll pause the draft here. We'll advance to the next pick. Who got taken? I'm going to have to reverse it here. Lewis Glover, okay. Sedarius Hillard goes. Mike Gadel or Goodell. Austin McKnight. Sir Goins, what a name. Sir Goins. The Rams have another pick, Victor Hayes. Salem Woods. 
Shane Gowder. Michael Etherton. Etherton. I think he's the Oregon left tackle. Asher Smith. Forrest Williams. Ross La uh, Lark. There's some good names. <laughs> Blake Ross. Dante Taylor. Randy Gwynn. Julian Ville? Vile? I don't even know how to say that. It's Satomi Sak Sakamoto. What, a, what are the names in here? Troy Peterson. Sheldon Campbell. <laughs> the names are out of control. D minor. Oh my god. These are legendary names. Emmett Tavar. Caesar Williams. Michael Kaiser. Michael Patterson. So there goes Michael Patterson. Chris Hickman goes. Darius Bryant. Ken Sanders. Oh, now we're up. All right. So what can I... Who's offering me some, some deals? So the Bengals would give me their 2014 first round pick next year. Uh, these trades are not... Those, those, those picks are not very good. So let's just see what we got here. Hmm. So we got Brian Ross. I don't know anything about him. I should have done better scouting. <laughs> Jordan Griffin. This would just be a shot in the dark on any of these guys. I could take Steckelion Jefferson from Ohio State. Right tackle. He was projected to go pick 10, but he got dropped. 6'8", 313. Alex Bryan. Could he be good? Production grade is an 89. He's a small guy. He's a 55 on size. I think we take this guy. He's got a great name, and he's projected to go top 10, but he fell. So maybe that's a bad choice. I don't know. I don't remember how the draft works back then. We'll see how good he is. I don't know. There goes Alex Bryan. I think we're just going to use all our picks, so... Let's get to my picks. We've got some late ones. Shane McCormick goes. He typically plays around 300, which is already big for a DN, but this offseason... We're going to need to look at center. Ooh, the centers are not really there anymore. Are there any good pass rushers? This guy is still here, this Aaron Thompson guy. We had a chance to draft him last time. Is that a bad thing? Should I just be taking guys that we that are projected to go first round? Let's do it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. That could be bad. They could be really bad, and that's why they fell, and other teams know that, and I don't. The problem is I didn't scout anybody, so I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I don't know who's good and who's bad. Let's see who we got in the third round here. Any second-round players that fell? couple guys. A corner, Wesley Williams. We do need a corner. Let's take him. I'm not really giving this much thought. <laughs> I'm just drafting guys that we need. We I do know we need a corner. We need a center. But I don't think there's any good centers available. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I don't think that there's any good centers left. I could just pick one up in free agency, I guess, at the start of next season. Packer time on the clock. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Is there anybody good here? There's still a couple third-round guys. Willis Williams. Terrence Cheeseboro. Oh, my God. These are legendary names. <laughs> these are absolutely legendary names. There's only two seven-round centers left. We already got our corner. Let's go with Willis Williams, UNLV defensive tackle. We do need one. Did I already get an outside linebacker? I don't think I did. I don't remember. I'll have to check. The Green Bay Packers are now on the clock. All right, let's go to players. 
Let's check and see who I've drafted so far. Terrence Cheeseboro is still available. <laughs> so I took a right tackle, a right guard, a corner, and a D tackle. Okay. So I could use a wide receiver like Terrence Cheeseboro. He's 6'5", 237 out of UCF. And he's got a legendary name. I think we take Terrence Cheeseboro. I mean, it doesn't get better than that. <laughs> It doesn't get much better than that. We took the cheese, man. We took the cheese, man. All right, looks like we got two more picks left. Six round, seven round picks. All right. So I might need to take a quarterback because I think I just got Aaron Rodgers, really. I didn't get Troy Smith resigned. A lot of corners that were projected to go in the fourth round. There's no quarterbacks left that are uh, projected to get drafted. A lot of receivers, a lot of corners. It's a very good receiver corner draft, that is for sure. Very deep. I guess we just go on, like, names. Freddie Joseph, he's projected to go 7th round from Navy. Xavier Knox from Ball State. Brandon Rogers is uh, projected to go undrafted. A lot of corners. Let's take the C.T. Patterson corner from Colorado. Just because I like his name, C.T. And then we'll go to our final pick in the seventh round. And if one of those centers is there, I mean, we might as well take one just because they're, they're still there. <laughs> I don't know if they will be there. Let's check. No, they're not there, but let's take this Brian Patterson guy. He's undrafted out of Boise State. He's not undrafted anymore. He just got drafted in the seventh round, baby. All right, so we just we just drafted everybody. I don't know how good those guys are going to be. <laughs> Probably all of them are going to be really, really bad. Oh, hello. That's a lot of trade block, guys. That is a lot of trade block. So we got Paul Solei. We got Michael Robinson, Carl Klug. Will Montgomery, Taylor Mays. Ooh, that's interesting. Taylor Mays. That could be a good one. Rookie signings. How good are these guys? Don't give me some crap. All right, we got uh, Stekel Stekelion. Is that how you say his name? Ste Stekolian? Is it Stekolian Jefferson? How good are you? 75, 72, 70, 68, 64, 59, 51. Yeah, I knew the, the undrafted center was going to be really bad. But hey, I mean, that's not a bad draft for not knowing the overalls or any of the grades of anybody we drafted. So I'd say that's a W. I'd say that is a double U. This right tackle could be pretty good for us at 75 overall. He might even start on the line. He might even start on the line. So who was the best player in the draft? Can we go to the, like all? We can't, but we can go through the teams. So there's an 84. Salem Woods was an 84. Uh, 82 for Roman Barkley. Ooh, Bills had a bad draft. Bills had a very, very bad draft. The fourth overall pick is a 76. So, hey, we drafted in the 28th pick, and we got somebody that's only one overall lower than the fourth pick. This guy, they didn't have a first. The Browns didn't have a first-round pick, and they still got a guy, Tate Green, 84 overall. So the Browns had a good first pick. The third overall pick running back is a 79. Cardinals got the 10th pick, and they took an 82 overall. Asher Smith from Wisconsin. He was a right outside linebacker we could have used. Ooh. They got a steal with Jabari Tyler. The Chargers did, but other than that, that's a bad one. Pick 19, Sheldon Campbell turns out to be a 83 corner. Okay. Pick 22, Caesar Williams for the Colts is an 83. So it seems like 84 is the highest so far. There's another 83. Second round pick for the Dolphins is a 71. They had drafted all 70s except for the last two picks. Three picks. That's a solid draft for the Dolphins there. The Eagles get uh, ooh, an 80 in the third round. Aaron Sanders. Pick nine is that left tackle. He's an 85. Yeah, he's going to be really good. He's going to be really good. I think he might be the best player in the class. There's an 81. Dante Taylor. Round two, pick two for the Jaguars is an 81. But they also got an 84. Max McC uh, McCaden is an 84. The Jets drafted pick five. Sir Goins is in the 75. 
The Lions get Emmett uh, Tover and pick 21. He's an 81 overall. We saw Ark stuff. Who had pick one? The Rams did, I think. Sidarius Hillard is pick two, and he's a 75. The Patriots get Chris Hickman. He was a 74. Bryant Bibb on the Raiders is a 78. The Rams, here's pick one, Lewis Glover. He's a 78, and then they drafted Victor Hayes, 82, and Troy Peterson, 80. And they also got Edward Robinson in the third round, who's an 80. So the Rams had a solid draft. Very, very good draft. D minor, wide receiver from Arizona State, a 75. The football team, or the commanders, got a 79 overall. Ken Sanders was a... Uh, uh, they drafted a 49 overall right guard in the fourth round. I feel bad for you, San, uh, New Orleans. I'm sorry. That's that's rough. But they, these guys got an 80 in the fifth round. Will Mitchell, 80 overall right tackle from IUP in the fourth round. Good on you. Pick 17, Satomi Sakamoto was a 78. Rakeem Brown, left tackle. So it seems like left tackle is probably going to be very, very good most of the time oh this guy julian ville or vile from auburn is an 85 but other than that they sucked in the rest of their draft the texans absolutely sucked the titans got alex bryan was a 66 good thing i didn't take him uh ross lark is a 62 but they got a, a jalen thomas from miami 84 overall okay and the 49ers pick 32 got an 80 overall so it seems like 85 is the highest and it was that left tackle and then the running back interesting very very interesting we move to preseason time i'll get all that ready uh off camera and then in the next next week's episode we'll be ready for week number one of season number two this is a very interesting off season i don't think we got better but i don't necessarily think we got worse i think we're about the same the same kind of i don't know like the same kind of skill and the same kind of talent that we had last season we still have aaron Rodgers, which is always a good thing we got a new running back we've got uh some decent receivers greg jennings jordy nelson cobb and then that cheeseboro i mean how could you not have a guy how could you not like having a guy named cheeseboro tight end we got jermichael finley and Den delaney walker so that's some good tight uh tight ends marshall newhouse tj lang we got that center that i'm gonna have to replace and then we've got uh, Stacoli and Jefferson. I wonder if I can change him. You think he could play center? So he's a 75 right now. If I change him to center, what does he go to? Oh, he can only play tackle. So he can't, okay. So he can't play anything other than tackle. That's interesting. Very, very interesting. Because we have two decent tackles already. And then on defense, I mean, we do struggle a little bit here on defense. Outside linebackers, kind of okay. We got AJ Hawk and Desmond Bishop, who are both solid players. And then Clay Matthews. Corner, Tremont Williams and Sam Shields. There's our, our rookie. Uh, Wesley Williams, who's decent. He'll probably get some, not playing time, but he'll probably stay around the team. CT Patterson probably won't. Burnett. Uh, we don't have a strong safety. I wonder if I change C.T. Patterson to safety. You think he could play safety and be a little bit higher overall than a 59? Because if he could, oh, he can only play corner. I don't like that there's restrictions on what these guys can play. I want to be able to change them whatever I want. So we don't have any strong safeties at all. I'm going to have to look into free agency in the preseason and see if I can pick up some guys out of the, out of the pool. But that is going to do it for this video. That was just the offseason special. Uh, Casey Hampton's here. He didn't get signed in free agency in the offseason. I'm sure there's a center here we could pick up. So I'll take a look at maybe some trades. I'll take a look at some free agents. Then I'll get to the week number one of the uh, regular season, season number two for next Thursday's episode. I, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe channel, join the Juice Club. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys thought of the draft, of the free agent signs. If you thought I should have signed somebody else, if you thought I should, should trade for somebody, leave them down below in the comments. Suggestions. I'd love to hear it. And uh, thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.